Hello everybody, this is CT Gent, and welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I am going to be talking about CTs. This is under the robotics category. So there's three types of CTs. There's a CT Mini, CT Servo, and a CT Feedback. <clears throat> These correspond to the four motors. There's a DC, or a, yeah, DC motor, which is a direct current. A servo motor, which is, it takes a value, you'll see what I mean. There's a linear motor, and there is a linear servo. So how do these work? Well, first off, I'm going to attach a plank to this one, and let's anchor these guys on a platform. So how this how these work is what you do. Um, okay, I'm I'm sorry. This is weird. You take a power supply or a three volt, depending on what you want. And I'm going to work on the DC motor. So you hook it up to a CT mini. The CT servo would also work, but I'd, I'd recommend a CT mini for the DC and the CT servo for the servos. Uh, and the CT mini also for the. Uh, the uh, CT direct, whatever that is, linear motor. Now, we are going to hook this up to here. So it should spin. So if you just want a motor to spin, you can do that. But I would recommend a simple motor if you're going to do that. So the next thing you need to do is we're going to go up into the robotics again, and we're going to get an RC, basic. Now we're going to connect input one or output 0 to input 1 and output 1 to input 2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put there and there. We're going to put a, uh, a slider and a button. So what these do is first of all it'll spin the set amount or how fast you want it to spin and then this will put it into reverse. So if we start this spinning, now we click the button, it'll reverse it. So input two is the uh, rotation, it's which is the direction, and input one is the speed, or whether it's on or off if you're using binary. You can also change whether it rotates counterclockwise or clockwise. So you can change it if I do that, now it should rotate the opposite direction until I press this. So that's another way to do it. Now let's experiment with the CT servo. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect input 1. And we're going to connect that to the state. It's going to disconnect that. Oops. Let's move this there and let's hook this in not to that one to that one. okay so now if we rotate this i believe oh wait we didn't connect it to power that's why let's do up one and let's just put this all the way up because these are slow put the speed cap up the speed cap is how fast it can turn so now it's stuck at the value it started at the more we rotate it, the more it'll try. So it'll always go back to the same starting value. Going the fastest way. So if I go really fast, it's going to go right back. It's not going to move hardly at all. But if I rotate it, as you can see, it's going to move. This is because it accepts an analog signal, which means it's a value between 1 and 0, not just a 1 or a 0. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to change this widget out. We don't need this one anymore. We're going to change this widget out with a circle. So if you watch, now we get to change how far it's rotated, and we get it to point it in that direction. So as you can see, it's pointing down this way. Let's, let's make this easier to see. Let's point it down there. So now we can rotate it and it'll follow that exact path most of the time. 
if it's not, if you calibrate it right, it should be fine. Let's just set this to the default rotation. Oh, I put it into orthographic. Oops. So now it should be good. It should be completely set. And it is. So a value between 1 and 0 is how far it will rotate to. Now, CT feedback is basically a CT servo, but it gives you a lot of outputs. So you can, you know, set the reverse. You can, this, it's basically a, uh, a CT mini and a CT servo combined. So you can do either of them. Uh, input one is speed control. Input two is reverse. Input three is speed slash force trade-off control. So you actually get to change this value using the CT servo. So it has a lot more inputs. Uh, you won't hardly ever need to use them though unless you're making a pretty advanced project. So focus on these two. Now we're going to go into the linear servos and the linear motors. So a motor, uh, you connect it to this one. So let's disconnect and reconnect it here. And let's hook this one back up. And let's go back into here and turn it on. Or not turn it on, but do that. So now, wait, we need to do one more thing. We need to go into the widget. These are called widgets, by the way. No, go away. Go. I don't want you. Delete. No, I can't delete you. Why you no go? Okay, okay, okay. Slider. So let's play. And then, so what a CT, uh, so, uh, not a, yeah, a uh, linear motor tries to do is it tries to move to the back, to uh, the end of the motor at a certain speed. So as you can see, it's just moving. It doesn't go to any specific value, just goes. Depending on the speed I input on input one of the CT mini, and whether it's reversed or unreversed. Now, let's go to the CT servo. So, uh, we need to pause. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect, go to the linear servo. Uh, yeah, it is a CT servo, whatever. I am out of it today with all these terms. They're weirds. Now let's take input one and put that into a state. So now, this will go to a specific value. As you can see, it's sliding with us. If we move it over to the slider, you can see that it, it goes to the specific place, to the value between one and zero, which is what a servo does. And also you can see that there's outputs like the uh, angle translation, torque force. So how much torque is being applied and uh, to get to the spot, and how much, or what translation it's at. So if you see something interesting here, let's go to, let's put this value to, Z, to uh, like one. Now, you can see that it's pretty slow. It's not moving that fast. So if we go and we just get a grapher here, because that's all we need. Uh, where is it? Grapher, grapher, and then we take input or output one, output one, hook that up, and then we take this one and we go, I believe it's state. You can see how they match up, but it kind of lags behind. <clears throat> so this one goes instantly. This one lags. So let's. So as you can see, it's kind of a. It kind of evens it out, if you know what I mean. It. It's not as fast. But if we put it up to full, 
we put the yeah I, I, I don't need to now it's pretty it matches it almost exactly just a little bit slower a little more laggy So as you can see, that one's a lot more blocky than that one. Alright, so that is all for the CTs and servo motors and whatever. So if you saw my car video, this is, you could also use a DC motor. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So thank you guys for watching. This has been CTJet99 signing off. If you liked the video, please like it, share it, subscribe, do whatever you want to help support my channel. And thanks for watching. Peace.